Hey there, and welcome back to Industrial Distribution's 2018 Big 50 List video countdown sponsored by Epicor. You've seen parts one and two, which covered companies number 50 through 31, and then 30 through 11. This is part three, where I'll take you through the top 10. Once again, the Big 50 ranks the largest industrial distributors in North America by their most recent full year revenue. See the rest of our methodology in the description below. Let's get back to the countdown. At number 10, MSC Industrial Supply has steadily increased its position each year since 2014 and achieves its highest Big 50 ranking ever this year, even though its 2017 sales were essentially flat. MSC has made two notable acquisitions since last summer with metalworking distributor Deco Tool Supply in August of 2017 and then fastener distributor All Integrated Solutions this past May for $86 million. In the company's Q3 earnings report, MSC Chief Financial Officer Rustam Jilla said, quote, I expect a return to more typical organic growth levels after a couple of quarters as we complete our Salesforce effectiveness initiatives and expand our sales team. As we do so, we will benefit from the leverage inherent on our business model, and we expect to continue achieving our long-term annual incremental margin target range, end quote. It's pretty rare for any company in the top 15 of our list to move up more than one or two spots from one year to the next, but that's what Applied Industrial Technologies did, jumping up three spots from 2017 to number nine this year. A big reason for that is Applied's $784 million acquisition of FCX Performance, which was number 30 on last year's Big 50. That added almost $350 million of revenue to Applied's existing 2017 number, which was enough to vault it into our top 10. Recently rebranded from Win Wholesale, Win Supply has moved up the Big 50 almost every year this decade and climbs two more spots this year to number eight. The Win Supply family of companies includes Win branded locations, Nolan Company, Car Supply, Security Plumbing and Heating Supply, Wyatt Irrigation, and Electrical Sales, Inc. At number seven and up two spots from last year, MRC Global is one of a handful of distributors on our list that relies heavily on oil and gas end markets and saw major year-over-year -year sales gains due to those markets' recovery from a 2015-2016 industrial recession. Its 2017 sales grew 20% and most recently grew 17% in Q2 of 2018. At number six, with $3.69 billion in 2017 sales, we have Wesco International, for which we account only for its industrial sales. Including electrical, Wesco's total company sales were $7.7 .7 billion. Most recently, Wesco's industrial segment had 2018 Q2 sales of $764 million, which was up 7% year over year, with organic sales up almost 6%. At number five, Fastenal has been a household name in industrial distribution for decades, but its growth in the last few years has been especially remarkable as it has vaulted seven spots up our list in just three years. Fastenal's installed vending device count ended Q2 of this year at 76,069, which was up more than 14% year over year. In July, the company had year over year daily sales growth of 12%, which was its 14th straight month of at least 12% growth. At number four, Motion Industries has moved up two spots on our list in each of the past two years. Tragically, the company suffered the sudden loss of its president and CEO, Tim Breen, just days before we started recording this part of the countdown. Breen led Motion to a company record $5 billion in 2017 sales, and was named Genuine Parts Company's 2017 Manager of the Year, the highest individual honor recognition in all of GPC. Breen was always a great resource for me here at ID, granting me a sit-down interview at Motions Birmingham, Alabama headquarters last summer, where he also gave me a facility tour and posed with me in this photo. He also gave me several other phone interviews for articles in the past couple years. His passing is a great loss for the MRO products marketplace. At number three, the past 13 months have been transformational for HD Supply, which sold off its waterworks unit last summer for $2.5 billion, leaving it with two core businesses, facilities maintenance and construction and industrial. It used part of those sales funds to finance this year's $380 million purchase of Hartford, Connecticut-based A.H. Harris Construction Supplies, and HD opened its new eight-story, 223,000-square-foot headquarters and leadership development center near Atlanta this past May. Jumping three spots from last year to number two is Airgas. Acquired by Paris, France-based Air Liquide for $10.3 billion in 2016, Airgas marked its 500th acquisition in its 36-year company history this past May when it bought Moraine, Ohio-based Weiler Welding. 
with 2017 being the first full year under Air Liquide. Airgas full year integration and consolidated sales gave it a major boost from 2016's $7 billion. And at number one, it should be no surprise to anyone that Granger tops our 2018 Big 50 list with $10.42 billion in 2017 sales. When Granger announced its strategic pricing actions that started in 2017 and accelerated a few months later, many analysts saw it as a risky gamble and a means to compete with Amazon. But it appears that move has paid off as Granger's 2017 sales grew 3% and the company now expects 2018 total sales to top $11 billion. Meanwhile, Granger has been right-sizing its branch network, restructuring its Canada business, and opened a state-of-the-art distribution center in New Jersey last November. Well, there you have it. The 2018 Big 50 list is now fully revealed. Due to acquisitions and further market consolidation over the past year, our list received quite a shakeup compared to last year, including in the top 10. A few companies made their first ever appearance on the Big 50, while a half a dozen companies that were on the 2017 list didn't appear in 2018. It's just part of what keeps the Big 50 interesting each year. One well-known distributor missing from our list is McMaster Car, which we acknowledge would likely rank in our top five, but since the company hasn't made its revenue known in many years, we elected to try to not place it from pure speculation. One could also make the argument that Amazon Business should be on our list, but like McMaster Car, Amazon hasn't revealed Amazon Business's total sales in more than a year, and it's highly unlikely that the company will individually break out its industrial product sales anytime soon. Be sure to catch the full concise Big 50 list table atop the ID website and newsletter next week, and then it's big spread in our fall print issue. As we leave you with a look back at our top 10 distributors, we thank Epicor for sponsoring the 2018 Big 50 list, and thank all of our viewers for watching.